this film was my first encounter in person with uh, with Belgium because before we, Belgium was just like uh, in my mind an EU institution country. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. We're walking the streets and sometimes meeting random people and talking with them and finding out, you know, where where are these places? For example, these uh, black labor markets, like next to the mm -hmm. canal in in Brussels, you know, where this uh, street is, and then so we shot there also in the film. It it was it was a lot of research for me. It was very very important to have it very accurate, kind of nearly you know, kind of documentary like precision in, in let's say locations and, and, and people and languages. It's a bit strange because here uh, in Latvia and the Baltic states, we know that uh, a lot of people have went to work abroad. And every month I was reading a story where someone was abused somehow. So, so I, these stories were in my head a lot because it was in the newspapers and so on and and actually the the real story which i read in this newspaper it it happened in belgium and and in the ghent area uh, a lot so so for me it was also very symbolic uh, because uh, you know belgium is like a lot of eu institutions and it's somehow the heart of you know all this european union idea but here in on the front door there are things happening like this and, 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 and people are not, either they don't want to see it or they don't see it. You know, it's a question because things are changing. Um, but um, of course, I mean, you know, I want that things change faster <laughs> for the good. You know, it, it may sound a cliche, but, but, but for me, it's, it's, it's a very straightforward, let's say, way of life because uh, if there is abuse in some way, I think this, or exploitation or injustice, you know, I, I find it, I, I, I find it very worrying for myself. So, so, so this is, this is basically where also the, the cinematography comes because it has to feel as it is coming from real life. So with Bogomil, uh, we talked a lot how, how we can achieve this. And basically it's also to do how I work on the set because I shoot all my uh, scenes in one take and uh, with no rehearsal. So there's a lot of improvisation happening. So we, the camera has to be also very fluid and very uh, mobile. And, 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 and uh, that's why also Bogomil is so great uh, in, 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 in my working with me because he's very intuitive. We use kind of documentary uh, principles in shooting the film because we shoot everything what is happening. You know, it, mm. it makes our lives a bit difficult in the editing process because then, you know, it takes much more time to, to edit. But sometimes it works in one take and there are several, uh, several uh, shots in, in the film where it's in one take and, and it works. So, so for me, it's, it's basically to get this reality, this feeling of to, to try to, to be as close as possible to this person who I am following, who I am like living with. And, and I, I, not to cheat myself, not to cheat the audience, you know, and, and to, 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 to have it as true as possible. Valentin, who plays Oleg, and uh, David, who plays Anjay, they met once before. I had an had a improvisation session in Riga, so we played out some some scenes just to find the chemistry, let's say. And uh, for example, uh, Valentin went to a meat factory. He was learning how to cut meat. He was also meeting people like this. Um, David, he was uh, he was uh, talking uh, to 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 people who have uh, went kind of this. Uh, abuse let's say experience and and, and how this uh, post-traumatic uh, nervous system is working and, and also addictions how they influence let's say the nervous system so so bo both of them had to kind of had their homework uh, and when they came on the set they knew their characters already very well so they were free in a way to, to, to improvise and as I said I mean for me the filming process is is has to be enjoyable. I'm not there to just refilm the script. I'm there to, to, to make the story. So there's a lot of improvisation. Sometimes the scene changes 
180 uh, degrees uh, from what it was in the on the on the page and what is what it is on the screen later. It's like a playground, uh, mm -hmm. where we where we where we play with the material, where we experiment. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, I will I will uh, I will be angry at myself if I hadn't uh, tried it. If you run away. Les cinéastes ont besoin qu'on s'intéresse à eux, vous le savez.